Simmers, and welcome to another Sims 4 house tour. I am Furby Furbs, and today we'll be taking the house tour of 16 Sims. Earlier this year, the Sims have celebrated their 16th birthday. So in honor of that, I built the first house I played with in The Sims 1. This was one of my favorite homes, and I played with it a lot. So uh, with that said, this is in the gallery. You can get that from my username, which will be posted below uh, what happened was. And I hope you enjoy the tour. Before we start the tour, I'm going to give you a tour of the original house from The Sims 1. This is what it looks like. Uh, these are only a couple uh, images I could find on Google Images, but this is just to show you what the house looked like and what how it transformed in The Sims 4. So we're going to go ahead and begin the tour now. Um, like I said, I did this house actually when the Sims celebrated their 16th birthday. Um, at that time, I didn't know how to do speed builds, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, include this in my house tours uh, series. So we're walking in, there's a the living room. Um, so you can see, or not the living room, sorry, the kitchen. Uh, living room and kitchen is actually connected. Uh, like I said, this is a small starter house. Uh, this was the first house I played with in The Sims 1, and actually the only house I really played with. Uh, at that time, it was not really that great with uh, building or adding on to. Um, so it was just easier for me to use this one at that time. Um, but of course, as the games, you know, progressed, I gotten a lot better. So there's the bathroom. There's two doors. Um, one door was for the bedroom, one's for the bathroom for the guest, and then you have another door in the bathroom that will also lead into the bedroom. Uh, but we're going to end up going out to uh, the... There we go. To the door, sorry. Uh, brain freeze there for a minute. Uh, okay, so we're going back in. There's a view of the living room. Uh, like I said, it's very plain. Uh, good starter house. Um, this is for more of a nostalgic thing. Um, I haven't played this one yet in The Sims 4. Um, in the original house, I had like wood, wood paneling in the bedroom. See, there's that other door I was talking about for the bathroom. But I had wood paneling, and um, that was the only thing I could find that actually matched. It had one bed, and like I said, it was a very basic home. Uh, very small, good for one sim. Actually, what I did, though, where the dresser is, um, I actually put a stairs there and made upstairs when I first started learning how to build uh, homes. Uh, so I actually made the rooms upstairs. Here's the patio. There's nothing out there, but it is enough room for you to, um, you know, put a picnic table, barbecue pit, or even a jacuzzi. So we're going to walk out so we can get the view. Uh, I do got plants in the same area it did, except for in a Sims 1. If you remember, you had to actually water them or hire a gardener. These, they don't die, but uh, I have them for decorations. Uh, again, like I said, the back is very plain. Um, this does have room to uh, grow. Um where you can expand on or add to. Uh, like I said, it was just more of a honorary thing since The Sims did turn 16. Uh, I've played The Sims since it first came out, and uh, I do like each one uh, differently. Um, but this is the way it turned out in The Sims 4, so I hope you do like it. We're coming out to the end of the house tour now, so we're going to be walking back outside. So if you like what you see, just subscribe below, or subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and I uh, hope to see you again soon. I'm Furby Furbs. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thank you again for uh, watching. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and also click on other videos to watch. Thank you again.